Okay, this is question four from the Limpopo June 2019 question paper from the chemistry paper. So it says, Euchlorine is a non-metallic with an atomic number of 17 and can exist as isotopes. Define the term atomic number. So from the exam guidelines, it's the number of protons in an atom of an element. Define the term isotope. They are atoms of an element having the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. With this definition, they also accept um, the same uh, atomic number but a different mass number, which is basically the same same thing but in different words. Now it says to you, natural chlorine consists of chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Write down the SP notation for chlorine 37. There's no two ways around this. You just have to know how to write the notation. So it's 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P. So now we have to work this out. I, I knew from the um, initial part, it says the atomic number is 17. If you missed that in the question, you can go back and look in your periodic table to uh, figure out what is the atomic number. And once you know the atomic number, you can work out how many protons you have, which means you know how many electrons you have, which is how you can write the SP notation. So if we count here, 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 2 is 12. We have 5 more electrons to consider to get to 17. So this is the SP notation. Now it says to you, the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35 and a half. Calculate the percentage of chlorine 35 in natural chlorine. What you have to remember is that the relative atomic mass is an average, okay? So we are going to reverse calculate the average. They've told you, so if I tell you that the class, class average is 50% and the only marks that the class had were 60% and 40%, how many children of each had that mark, you can go back and do a reverse calculation of average. This is what we have to do here. So we have to reverse calculate the average. This is the average and we need the percentage of chlorine 35. Okay, so if the percentage, if we say percentage, we have the whole for our percentage is 100. So we have to first define and say what will be our percentage of chlorine 35. So it'll be a number out of 100. Percentage of chlorine 35 is, we're going to call it X. Okay, so we only have two isotopes here, the chlorine 35 and the chlorine 37. So the percentage of cl chlorine 35 is X because that's what we want to find. The percentage of chlorine 37 is going to be 100, which is my total, minus X. Okay, so we have 100 minus X. So now remember this is the mass and there are X of them. Okay, and then our average is going to be 35 and a half. So if we find the average, we put the total mass over the total number of atoms, and that's going to give us an average mass, okay? So to find the total mass, it'll be 35 times X, okay? That'll be the mass of the chlorine 35. So the total mass is equal to 35 times X plus... 100 minus X, which is how many atoms we've got of chlorine 37, okay? So this is going to be our total mass because every one chlorine 35 is going to weigh 35 and we've got X of them. So this becomes 35X plus 3700 minus... 37x. This is my total mass, okay, just by adding the two together because it's the mass of the chlorine 35 plus the mass of the chlorine 37. So then I end up with here 35x minus 37x is minus 2x plus 3700. That's my total mass, okay. So my average mass, my average mass is 35 and a half. That's what the question is telling us. Okay. And this is going to be equal to the total mass divided by 
the number of particles. So now in this, because it's a percentage, we assume that there's 100 particles, okay? So 35 and a half, this is just algebra, people. 35 and a half equals minus 2x plus 3,700, <coughs> excuse me, and then this will be divided by the number of particles, okay, divided by 100 particles. Now we're going to do algebra. I want to get rid of the dividing by 100, so 35 and a half times 100 is 3,550 equals, how did I get minus 3x there? It's minus 2x. Where did I magically get this from? Sorry. Minus 2x plus 3,700. Okay, so now by the power invested in you by algebra, you will end up with 2x equals 3,700 minus 3,550. And if I pull out my calculator, I get 2x equals 150, so x equals 75, which means 75% are chlorine 35. So we need to write that down. The percentage of chlorine 35 is 75%. Okay, so what we do here is we have to understand that this 35 and a half is an average. If we are using a percentage, we assume that the sample is 100 particles, okay? Because that's what a percentage is, it's out of, a, out of 100. So then once it's out of 100, we can then do the sum. We have X chlorine 35, which leaves 100 minus X for chlorine 37. To find the total mass, you take the number of atoms by each of their masses. You come up with a sum, and then you know the average is going to be 35 and a half, and you reverse calculate it. Okay, chlorine gas consists of molecules. Write down the number of valence electrons in a chlorine atom. To do this, you have to know what is the valence number. It is the number of electrons in the outer shell. If you look at the SP notation, the inner shell is 1, the second shell is 2, the outer shell is 3. So you have to count all the electrons in the outer shell, which is 2 plus 5, which is 7. There are 7 valence electrons. And you can also use the old numbering in on the periodic table, where there's that VII, will also tell you 7. What do chlorine molecules bond? They make covalent bonds because the um, electrons are shared. So the moment you share electrons, it's covalent bonding. And what is the Lewis structure for the chlorine molecule? Here I've taken the picture that shows you each atom's electrons in a different color. So you can check here, this chlorine atom had two, four, six, seven valence electrons, and this chlorine atom with a orangey colored ones. It's got two, four, six, seven valence electrons and they each share one electron making a single bond and this is the proper Lewis structure for a chlorine molecule showing all of the electrons. Then it says to you calcium reacts with chlorine to form calcium chloride. Draw an Aufbau diagram for a chlorine ion. So a chlorine ion is actually Cl minus. Okay, Cl Minus. So if you are Cl minus, you have a negative charge, it means you have gained an electron. So you then need to have eight electrons in your outermost shell. So based on this SP notation here, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2p6, 3 is 2, 3p5. If you come back here, here it is, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2p6, 3 is 2, and if it was just chlorine, you would have five electrons in this outermost orbital. But because it is the ion, you have to put in the eighth electron. So this is a chlorine ion. Now in the memo, they've got an empty 4s orbital. I think they've done something wrong in the memo. I think they've taken something that has this electron configuration, but was actually something from the fourth period that's lost electrons, like for instance, the calcium ion. If it was a diagram of the calcium ion, it would look exactly like the chlorine ion, okay? In terms of the number of electrons it's got and what orbitals they're in, but it would have an empty 4s shell. So that's why I don't think the memo is 
100% correct. The electron configuration is correct, but there's no reason to have the 4s orbital. And so in this, for the four marks, you need to have the extra electron. You need to have the correct number of electrons in the orbitals. You need to have like three orbital boxes for the p shell. They need to be higher than the s shell. You need to have your electrons um, one up, one down. You can draw circles for these as well. But that's where your four marks will come from, making sure that the energy levels increase as you go up and making sure that the electrons are paired in their orbitals where it's necessary. Now it says to you write down the chemical symbols of the particles found in the calcium chloride crystal lattice. So a calcium chloride crystal lattice is made out of ions which have gained or lost electrons. So it will be Ca2 plus and Cl minus. Remember that um, calcium is in the second column, so it needs to lose two electrons to become a stable ion with a full outer shell. And chlorine is in um, group seven, needs to gain one electron. So the chemical symbols are for the ions Ca2 plus, Cl minus. And remember, you'd need two chlorine ions uh, to pair up but they didn't ask you for that. They accept this answer as a calcium two plus ion and a chlorine one minus ion.